Today on Kylie Makes It, we're playing with worms! I'm so glad you're here. It's finally spring. I'm so excited. I got out my bird bath. The birds are gonna be so excited to splash around. Hmm. Oh, I have the perfect place for it. Come on. Ta-da! Right? Right? It's perfect for a bird bath. They can be up here in the tree and then, <coughs> oh, there's <coughs> bird bath, right? Yeah. It looks like my rock wall fell down a little bit over the winter. You wanna help me put it back up? You're such a good friend, such a helper. Okay. Oh man, I love birds. If you like birds too, there is a Kylie Makes a Bird Feeder video for future watching. Oh man, do you think the snow just pushed this over? Ugh. Whoa. Speaking of uh, birds, do you know what birds love to eat? Mm, yummy. Worms. Oh, look at all those worms. I'm gonna be very gentle and pick one up. Oh. Hello. Hello. Worms are amazing. Not only are they super interesting creatures, they also help our earth. And not just by feeding the birds. Hmm? They help our earth by making the soil richer and by digging their little tunnels so that plants can have lots of air. I wish that we could watch these worms all day, don't you? I have an idea. What if you and I made a worm house. That way we could observe the worms for a couple weeks and see what the life of a worm is like. Interested? Okay, we need to gather some supplies. Here's the things that you're going to need if you make a worm house at your house. Number one, a shovel or a small trowel. These are just containers for the things we're going to gather outside. We need some soil, some sand, some grass clippings, and some like old leaves. That's what worms eat. Let's see, what else? What am I missing? I feel like something important. Worms. <laughs> it's better to gather your soil right from where the worms live so it's soil that they're used to and you know it's nice and healthy for them. Time for worms. <laughs> Be gentle. Worms love old leaves. In fact, they help keep our world clean by eating this stuff and turning it into soil again. So we're gonna get some old leaves. Can you imagine loving this as a snack? Blech. We're also gonna get them some fresh grass. They like that too. Now I'm going to collect just a little bit of sand. Wanna know why? Worms don't have teeth. They don't have any teeth. 
<laughs> so they use sand in their bodies to help grind up the food that they're eating because they can't go <laughs> So they just go like, sand, sand. <laughs> I don't know. Perfect. We have everything we need. Let's go to the studio. Welcome to the studio. I'm almost done unpacking all the things we gathered to make our worm house. Here's some other things that you're gonna need. You're going to need two clear jars, one that's small enough to fit inside the bigger one. You're also going to need to poke some holes in the top of the lid of your biggest jar. Then you're going to need a spray bottle with some water and it will help if you have something to cover your jar when you're done. I am going to use some black construction paper, but a paper bag over the top bloop, would work just fine. Time to build our worm house. I'm gonna start by putting my small jar inside my big jar. The reason I'm putting a jar in the middle is to keep all of the worm activity on the outside of the jar where we can see it through the clear glass. Otherwise, if they do all their cool tunnel and digging stuff in the middle, we won't be able to see it because of, you know, dirt. We're going to build this worm home in layers, kind of like making a really, really, really dirty cake that you would not want to eat, unless you were a worm. We're gonna start with a thin layer of soil. Even that out a little bit. Now we're gonna crunch up some of these leaves into little wormy bite sizes and make a leafy layer. Next, I'm gonna add a few sprays of water. We want this to be moist enough for the worms to live, but we don't wanna soak it. Worms don't have gills, so they can't be totally surrounded by water. They can't breathe under there. Now we're gonna do a layer of sand. Some more water. And repeat. Soil, leaves. You can even put fruits and vegetables in your worm jar if you want to. They'll love it. Little carrots, little broccoli, try a banana or apple. Spray it with water. Add a layer of sand again. Repeat those layers until your jar is almost full. Then I'm gonna add some of the fresh grass to the top. The home is complete. The worms are ready to move in. But first, let's observe them a little bit outside of their new home. Remember, worms are living creatures, so we want to treat them with gentleness, kindness, and respect. Look, they're all in one little knot. We'll be very kind to you, but we do want to check you out a little bit. Oh, look at that one. He's very tiny. Maybe that's a baby. Whoa. These two are in a tight hug, so I'm going to let them just go right in their home for now. Welcome, and I give them a little bit of water. We'll see if they start making their way down. Watch how these worms are moving their bodies. They don't have any legs. It looks like they get long and thin, and then their bodies bunch up until they get long and thin again. Worms are able to do this because they have two sets of muscles that wrap their bodies. One set goes around their bodies this way. The other set goes down the whole length of their body on both sides. The set that goes down their body on both sides, that helps make the worm short and bunched up. But the ones that go around their body all the way, those are the ones that stretch the worm out. Those muscles work together to help these worms move. Whoa, someone's escaping. And the worms we put on top here are already gone. Amazing. Where are you all going? I'll move you to your home soon. Gentle, gentle. Do you want to do an experiment to see if worms can smell? I'm gonna use fingernail polish remover, a very stinky stink. I'm gonna dip one end of a Q-tip in fingernail polish remover. I'm gonna be very careful not to touch the worm. That would hurt them and we don't wanna do that. Let's put it by one end of the worm and see what happens. Whoa! 
It's like, oh, bleh, gross, get me out of here. <gasps> Crazy. Let's put it down here and see. Oh, he's like, thank you. Oh. It can't smell down here. Hmm. This must be where the worm's nose is. Let's try this guy. Oh, 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 get that out of here. Oh, oh they do not like that smell. <gasps> Wait, that means worms can smell. I did not know that. Well, running away again. I think they really want to get to their house. Let's put them in. Okay, okay, enough experiments. Check it out, guys. You're not gonna live here forever. It's just a short stay. They're already going down, down, down. I'm gonna put a cover around the sides of this jar so that they feel nice and safe and underground no matter where they are. We can remove this when we're ready to observe. goodness this is already so interesting to watch the worms are moving into their new home and getting comfortable i'm going to screw the jar lid on and we'll check back in with these worms to see what they've been up to remember if you make a worm home at your home you're going to need to spray the soil about three times a week just so they don't dry out and we're not going to keep them in here forever at the end of three weeks it's going to be time to put them back I can't wait to see what these worms do with you. Check it out. Day six. We're starting to see some worm tunnels and some worms. Day 10. See how the worms are mixing up the layers as they crawl back and forth? Day 14, adding a piece of watermelon. Day 15. Hi, buddy. Day 17. Day 20. The watermelon is all gone. Are you the one who ate it all up? I have learned so much about worms over the last three weeks. You've gotten the highlights in the last couple minutes. I'm gonna check out my worms one more time and then would you come to my backyard with me so we can release them back into the wilderness where they belong? Thanks. I didn't see the worms every day that I checked on them, but about mm, every other day, I did see one, even if it slithered away really quickly. And now when I look, even if I don't see a worm, I see all the tunnels that the worms have made. <sighs> Amazing. I don't see any this time, but are you guys ready to go home? Back to the garden? Yes! Okay! What? Yes! Oh, they are. Let's go. Let's go. We're back where we started. All right, little worms, it's time to go back to the great outdoors. I'm gonna flip our worm house upside down so that we can empty it out and the worms can wiggle away nice and free and wormy. Is everybody out? I think so. Let's watch them find their way back to the ground. waving goodbye. It was so fun making this worm house and learning about worms with you. I love hanging out with you. Whether we're making art or a house for crawly worms, we always have fun. If you wanna make more things with me, let's do it. Just search for Kylie Makes It. K-Y-L-E-E, -E. that's me. See you soon.